April 6th, National Caramel Popcorn Day. That's what we're making today. We're gonna actually make our own caramel popcorn. You only need four things. You need some popcorn, so I just popped some uh, popcorn in the microwave. Bag of popcorn, you need three quarters of a cup of sugar plus two tablespoons. And you need a third of a cup of water plus two tablespoons. It was, a, it was a metric uh, recipe that I saw online, so I had to convert it. So that's how it converts. I know it sounds weird, but that's what it is. So remember, three and a quarter, two tablespoons, third of a cup, two tablespoons, and one tablespoon of butter. Okay, so we have our pot here on the stove. We're going to add our sugar to the pot. We're going to add our water to the pot. And that's it for now. Don't stir it. You can... Go like that if you want to kind of move it around, but don't actually stir it, stir it, okay? So we're going to let that cook until it becomes syrupy. It's going to start to change color and become kind of amberish. That's what we're looking for. And then we can finalize that. But in the meantime, I'm going to take my microwave popcorn and put it in this bowl, okay? Because this is what we're going to mix it in. Alrighty, so as soon as that gets to where it needs to be, I'll be right back. Okay, you can see that that's bubbling away. Make sure you're on a low to medium heat. Okay, and just let that simmer away until it starts to sugar up and syrup up and change color. <laughs> also, make sure that you have a cookie sheet with some parchment paper on it. Got to make sure you have all your stuff ready to go because this one moves fast it's one of those things where once you make this caramel and you pour it on your popcorn you got to move quick because it's going to harden up real fast it's going to you know and then it won't be workable so you just got to be ready with all your stuff to go okay almost there once that's caramelized we'll be back Alrighty, I know we've been gone only a nanosecond that we said we'll be right back but we've been standing here for about 15 20 minutes uh, this takes Quite a long time on low heat to get it to the amber color stage which we're just getting to okay finally so you just have to be patient don't stir it just let it sit there and cook and it's gonna bubble and bubble and bubble and bubble and bubble and then it gets to this stage where it's just about amber color maybe another minute or two I don't know how amber you need it to get We're just about there. I just wanted to tell you, you got to be really patient with this one. Yeah, I know. You could have just, in the 20 minutes you've been standing here watching this pop bubble, you could have just went to the store, bought some Cracker Jack, and came back. <laughs> but we want to try making it ourselves today. Okay, we're ready. That's our amber color. Take your tablespoon of butter, your silicone spatula, because you need something that's going to be able to take the heat here. Okay? And you're just going to throw that in there, and it's going to bubble up. And foam up and foam up and foam up. I don't know if you can see that. You're just going to keep stirring it until you get rid of all your bubbles. Okay, but it should be this nice amber color. I don't know if you can see that. See that color? And you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. I'm taking it off the heat. Just keep stirring till it's nice and smooth consistency. There you go. Okay, that's a nice caramel color. I don't know if you can see that caramel color in there, okay? But that's what we want. And we want it nice and smooth, which it is right now. So once it's once you get that into your bowl, pour it, drizzle it over your popcorn. Okay? And give it a good toss. Try to get as much of it around as you can. Because it's going to start to harden up and stick and everything else. Exactly like it's doing. Okay? there so I can 
Okay, whoa, I'm dropping it all over the place. Needed a bigger bowl. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get as much of this out of here as I can. Okay, so you're just going to give that a good toss. And then we're going to put it right onto our cookie sheet. Because we want to, look, it's already all sticking to the bowl. It's a tough one. Look at that. Okay, you want to get it down. Press it down so it can harden up. Okay. All the caramel is already sticking to the bottom here. Maybe a wooden spoon would have been better. I don't know. Never made this before. Yeah, it's a lot of seeds on the bottom anyway. Okay. And that's it. We're just going to pat that down. Okay, and we're just going to let that cool for a couple minutes. Then we're going to come back, we're going to break it apart, we got caramel popcorn. Alrighty, i got to clean up this mess. Be right back. <laughs> there you go. Now all you do is just break it apart, put it in a bowl. Pick what movie you want to watch. Caramel popcorn. Made our own today. Rather than buying the store bought, let's try it. Mmm. Delicious. You got the sweet and salty thing going on. I love it. I think it's great. And it was only four ingredients. Okay, it took about 20 minutes. Like I said, it's a little time consuming. But who cares? Make your own. The kids would love having fun with this and making their own, you know, flavored popcorn for the movie and stuff. All right? All right, everybody. I'm going to eat my popcorn. i got to go find a movie. See you tomorrow.